in the elderly, supportive care measures are very important. Uh, we know that patients uh, who are treated with uh, our modern therapies, though they are safer, can uh, still develop side effects. So we often have to use uh, drugs to support blood counts, especially in the uh, initial phases of treatment. Uh, we may choose to reduce the dose of the drugs, uh, but often uh, use of growth factors may help uh, carry patients through a brief period of cytopenias. Uh, we use uh, uh, drugs to uh, help improve the hematocrit, uh, the use of erythropoietic growth factors, uh, especially if the hemoglobin is less than 10, is an appropriate uh, intervention. Um, also, we know that patients with multiple myeloma have got uh, fairly uh, uh, impressive damage to their bones, uh, uh, often at the time of presentation. So the use of uh, either bisphosphonates or more recently the approval of denosumab for bone health preservation is another area that we should not neglect in elderly patients especially. Uh, I think that uh, certainly the use of supportive uh, care uh, to counteract some of the side effects of our treatment is also an area that uh, merits commenting upon. Uh, if you have patients starting to develop uh, neuropathy, one needs to be aggressive about dose reductions and dose delays, especially with bortezomib, and the use of drugs like uh, Neurontin or Lyrica uh, is often uh, what we resort to as uh, treatment for neuropathy. Uh, also, one should not forget that for those patients who are on lenalidomide, that one does need to have some strategy to prevent uh, venous thromboembolism. And for the majority, it is felt that the use of a low-dose aspirin is adequate. But for people who have higher risk for uh, thromboembolism, full anticoagulation uh, with either a low molecular weight heparin or the use of oral anticoagulants may be necessary. This patient uh, achieved a very good partial response, which I think is, uh, for this patient, probably uh, a good uh, measure of uh, depth of response to try to uh, achieve. Um, certainly, in uh, patients who are transplant eligible these days, we are often talking about aiming for even deeper levels of response with minimal residual disease negativity, often now being talked of as an endpoint uh, to strive for. Though that has not been validated as a strategy uh, in the elderly patients, I think that uh, often uh, the use of agents in this population, uh, especially our current two drug regimens, will probably not in most cases allow us to achieve those depths of response. And I don't think that at this time uh, there is data to suggest that we need to do so. Uh, we have to uh, certainly, in this population, balance depth and efficacy with quality of life as well.